Hi everybody, I'm back. And today I'm going to show you all how to make a tuna melt. Here's what you will need. You will need two chunk light tunas and they are nine ounce cans. You will need celery salt, garlic powder, salt and pepper, mayonnaise, sweet relish. You will need, I have a mild cheddar cheese that I have here that I've got sliced from the deli today. You will need bread, whatever type of bread that you like, but make sure you have a nice hearty bread that's going to be able to hold that tuna without uh, tearing on you. Okay, so let me show you the type of bread that I have today. I have Farmhouse Pepperidge Farm, and it's a hearty white bread. Okay, so then you will need real butter and you will need a small amount of onions. If you're a person that likes to have celery in your tuna melt, then you cut up a small amount of celery. I don't choose to put celery in my tuna melt. When I make tuna salad, I use celery. But when I'm making tuna melts, I'll use celery salt. You will still get that celery flavor, right? but you don't have the big chunks of celery in there, okay? And then I have just a pinch of sugar. The sugar is optional, you don't have to use the sugar, all right? So then we're gonna go in with some red onion, all right? And I just cut a very small onion. You can chop it up fine if you like. And then so, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna kinda eyeball everything. All right, let's get a good picture down into here. Let's see. There we go, beautiful. Hold on guys, I'm fixing my camera here. Beautiful. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning our tuna. This is celery salt. Put you some in there for flavor, guys. Now, since you have celery salt, be very careful with your salt or don't use any at all if you're not sure how much to use, all right? Garlic powder, you gotta have garlic powder when you make tuna salad. Put you some black pepper in there. Absolutely. You wanna have flavor in that tuna. And I'm just gonna do just a little bit of salt and that's it. That's all you need. With the sweet relish, be very careful. I'm only gonna use about a teaspoon and a half. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that this juice from this relish is well drained. So I'm using a fork and I'm kind of patting out the juice like this. All right, that's about a teaspoon, okay? And then here's about a half. Pat that juice out, take the time, pat that juice out because we don't want a really wet tuna salad. Excuse me. All right, and then we're gonna go in with mayonnaise. I, I would prefer that you all use regular mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip, but if you are the person that loves Miracle Whip and you want to use Miracle Whip, then feel free to. Absolutely. What you want to do, go in, start with a little bit of mayo. You never want to put too much in because you can never take away. All right. So start off with a little bit because we kind of like, we like ours to be nice and creamy, but we want it to have, we don't want it to be really wet. Okay. And I'll show you the texture that you're looking for. All right, oh, I can smell that garlic. It smells so good in this black pepper, that relish. And now when I'm making tuna salad, like I said, I like to use celery. Um, and I also put boiled eggs in my tuna. But since we're doing tuna melts today, I'm not gonna use boiled eggs. All right, see how it's kind of dry? But I'd like for it to be a little bit wetter than that. All right. So then I'm gonna grab some more. See, you can control the amount of mayo that you use. And this right here 
should be the perfect amount. Yes, it should. We'll give this a taste and we'll see if we need that pinch of sugar. You might not even need it. Okay, you always want to taste everything when you're making it to see if you need more of this or that or if you don't or if it tastes just fine. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this, guys. And make sure you use a sharp cheddar when you're making your tuna melt. It makes it perfect. Okay, let's go in and taste this. Let's see if I need anything, guys. Do you all want to taste that? Taste right there, guys. Oh, there you go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need black pepper. Mm, mm, mm. And guess what? That's it. It has so much flavor and it tastes so good. Mm, mm, mm. If you all have never tasted the uh, garlic powder in tuna salad, try it, guys. It really makes a difference. Now, see, look at this. See how it's nice and creamy. It's not dry and it's not super wet. That's what you're wanting, right? Then, over here, on the stove, I have a pan that I like to make grilled cheese with. This pan makes the best grilled cheese, you hear me? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, excuse me, heat my pan up. I have some real salted butter here that we're gonna use, probably about two tablespoons of butter. And what you're looking for, is you're looking for this butter to get nice and bubbly. As soon as this butter gets nice and bubbly, we're gonna lay our tuna melt in this pan. Okay, so we'll start out, like I said, two tablespoons. All right. About that much. We'll wait for that to get nice and bubbly. Meanwhile, we're gonna come over here and we need to assemble our beautiful sandwich. This recipe is so easy. A lot of fun to make. Hey, the kids can make this. And everybody loves it. You hear me? Everybody loves it. All right. So I have my cheese here. There's a piece that's right for me. Taste that, guys. Mmm, mmm. Mm -hmm. If you all have never tasted Pepperidge Farms white hearty bread, it's delicious. Now, the go to bread that we buy when we buy bread for our house, we buy it's a wheat, it's a whole wheat honey bread made by Sarah Lee, I believe. But when we want grilled cheese, this is the bread that we use, or we use that rye pumpernickel bread that I showed you all in the video for the Reuben sandwich, okay? I'll show you this bread here in just a second. Let me close it back up. This bread right here makes for the best grilled cheese sandwiches. You hear me? <laughs> It does. So here's what it looks like. See how it's nice and thick? And it's going to hold. Oh, it's going to hold that tuna. You hear me? All right. So then, my butter's starting to melt over here. And I'm going to turn my heat up onto a medium high. I'm going to show you when this butter gets nice and bubbly how we want it before we put our sandwich in. What you want to do? You want to take some cheddar, put one slice there, and one slice here, okay? And what that cheese will actually do is it will serve as a barrier. What kind of barrier, Gina? It'll serve as a barrier so that your sandwich doesn't get soggy from this tuna. And when you make this, you don't want to put like loads and loads of tuna. Just put you a nice amount in there. Not too much and not too less, right? Now, um, if you want it to, it's really up to you, you can take the butter 
and butter the outside of your sandwich and then lay your sandwich down into your pan. You can do that if you would like to, okay? Either or would be just fine. And then you close it, okay? Let me show you. My butter is getting nice and frothy, what I was looking for. This is exactly what I was looking for. Nice and bubbly and frothy. And that indicates, hey, that this pan is ready for that tuna melt, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, put, look at this guys, perfect. Put that bad boy smack down in there, okay? And just let it be, medium high heat. Don't you dare go in with your fork and your spatula poking at it or messing with it. What'll happen is we'll actually start to see a golden brown color around those edges, okay? It'll be beautifully golden brown. You can see it from here. And that'll indicate that it's time to turn it. I'm gonna grab my spatula. There it is. And I'm gonna grab a plate so that we can try this when it's done. Once this gets nice and golden brown and I'm ready to take it out or and I'm ready to turn it, I'll let you know. Okay, be right back everyone. Look at it go guys. Okay everyone, it looks nice and brown around the edges. Let's go ahead and turn it. Okay, let me move some of that butter right to the middle so that it can get onto the other side. Oh, beautiful. See that? Hey, that's what you're wanting, you hear me? Mm. Who does not like tuna salad? Who doesn't like toasted bread? And who doesn't like cheese? You put them together, guys, and you are in heaven. You hear me? Oh, absolutely. Trust me when I tell you this. I'm just cleaning my mess up. Just cleaning my mess up, guys. Okay, I'm going to look at this other side. It's coming out beautiful. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of butter in because a lot of the butter that we had in there went onto this side, kind of soaked in. So we need just a little bit more. Look at this, guys. This is something you can make for Saturday lunchtime at your house. Absolutely. Lunchtime, everybody's cleaning up the house. You all got the music going. It's smelling like pine saw and bleach in the house, and you all are tired and hungry. And you're trying to figure out, hey, what can we have to eat? Hey, make you, make you a tuna melt. Why not? Look at this, guys. Is it beautiful or what? Here's what we're gonna do. Let's come over to this plate and let's give this bad boy a try. You hear me? Woo! Mm, mm, mm. All right, let me turn my pan. Well, let's put it here so we can cut it first. I need to turn my pan off. And we all are gonna enjoy this tuna melt together. I'm gonna make sure I give you all that first bite too. I know I made, uh, what did I make yesterday? I made the chicken parm yesterday. I was so excited. I forgot to give you all that first bite. Well, I'm going to give you all the first bite on this one. <laughs> I felt so bad because there were so many people saying, uh, Gina, we didn't get the first bite. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. And so we didn't wind up using this. Because the, that little tiny bit of sugar that we used with the relish was just fine. All right, let's go ahead, cut this up, and give it a try. Boy, am I excited. Let's put a little bit of light down on there. Should I cut it this way, guys, or this way? <laughs> let's do it this way. Oh, yeah. You hear how crunchy? No soggy bread here, you hear me? And another thing that I don't like, I don't like buttery, buttery, buttery bread, too buttery, you know what I mean? Because that butter make my stomach hurt. Use just the right amount. And take the time to let your butter get nice and melted and frothy. 
once that butter gets frothy, it will always give you a nice golden brown crust this way. Look at, the, oh my goodness. Oh my word. Guys, oh my goodness, you hear me. Let's look at the edges. Let's see. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Let me come down here so I can get a good thumbnail picture. All right. Oh wow, guys. Tuna melt. 101. Hey, if you never tried it before, you better make you some and tell them Gina Young showed you how to make it. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Let's dig in, guys. Woo! Wee! I'm so excited. Oh man. Okay, there you go, guys. First bite. Let me let you see this beautifulness. Look at this, guys. And cook it on a medium. Medium, medium high. Alright, that way your crust your crust can be beautiful and not burnt. Taste right there, guys. Oh, I'm going in. Mmm, mm-mm. -mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my. I'm about to eat that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, taste, guys, is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, it's good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my word. I was getting ready to get a cream soda out the refrigerator. Man, I forgot all about it. This this sandwich stole my attention. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My word. My word. Look at this, guys. Oh, bite right there. Mm. Oh yeah. Woo -wee. Bite right there. Mm, mm, mm. And as always, God bless. Have a great night. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Take that last bite right there, guys. Good night.